Thanks, Emmett. Their market is sometimes ignored, but moms have a lot of economic power. Mothers often determine where the dollars go, from family entertainment down to her husband's socks. So how do businesses get moms to spend with them? Here with the answer to that question and more is Nora Lee. She's the author of the book, The Mom Factor, and an expert in targeting that audience. Nora Lee, welcome to Making It. We appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. So it's true. Moms really have a lot more power than I think sometimes we even realize. Oh, absolutely. We're huge. Can we talk <laughs> about what you see as the next important business trend in relation to that? Well, I think if you're a small or medium-sized business, you need to focus on customer service. That's the next trend. The marketplace is full of value, but what it is really rare is great customer service. And if you can hook moms in by creating a relationship with them, then you're on the first rung to a long line of loyal customers because she influences so many buying decisions. Right. When you talk about that customer base of moms, how large really is it? There are 105 million women in the United States, 82 million of us are moms, and 32 million of us have kids at home. We spend about $2 trillion a year on our That's families. Pretty big. <laughs> That's the same as the country of Great Britain, same purchasing power. <laughs> now, when you talk about looking for a bargain, cheap doesn't always mean good value. How can you sell value to your customers? Well, value is a package deal, really. Um, it's it's selection, it's price, and it's quality. But more importantly, it's what's wrapped around it, and that is the, the way the business looks and feels when you walk in the door or access it online. The way you treat your employees reflects the way you treat your customers. Uh, value is a package deal. So can you give us some specific tips about that customer experience? Moms are very particular about many things. Some of my favorites are health and safety. Mm -hmm. they, if they're going to take a kid in somewhere, they don't want to take them into a danger zone. Uh, if you can provide a setting where they can do their job efficiently, mm -hmm. moms shop on a continuum. And on one is the to-do list. Everybody has those where you check off stuff. If you can combine things for them on the to-do list and be efficient, oh, they love you because it can be as simple as having a... Uh, a delivery service or the ability to call in something ahead of time and get it prepared. Look around, see something that you can combine with your business to uh, to make the shopping experience more efficient. Diaper changing tables are really important. Excellent <laughs> choice. I'm always looking for a diaper changing table. Also when you talk about health and safety, you kind of got to get down on your hands and knees and see what the dangers are. Yes. Because when you're shopping, you might not have your eye on the child every single second, but you know, you always got the child right there and you want to make sure that they are safe. So it's That's really right. important. Get on your knees and look at it through the ch a child's eyes. And think like a mom, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now the money is, is in mom's purse. Obviously right. we're talking about how we control the money. Now how does a good business owner get the mother to spend their money with them? Well, moms are emotional creatures. We're very relationship driven. And uh, you have to, to understand that about them. They, they want to create long lasting relationships with you. So if you do things like, like address the efficiency, address the customer service problem, uh, make their lives better so that when they come in and spend money they actually feel good about it mm -hmm. and not like they're being robbed <laughs> or held at gunpoint mm -hmm. then you've got them because we're very loyal so as a mother you're spending changes obviously after you become a mom but you do kind of take that with you whatever you were buying before how does that work how do things totally change when you become a mom Oh, you look at the world very differently when in this, I understand you have a young child. I have a little 13 month old, oh, yeah. Excellent. At that stage, you're looking at diapers and safety locks and car seats and strollers. Well, mine's 15. I'm looking at private schools and amplifiers and guitar lessons. Mm -hmm. But all of those things would not be part of my repertoire if I weren't a mom. Right. So I'm buying in, in at least three different directions every time I buy. And so for 18 years, you're thinking about your child, you're thinking about your family, and you know probably beyond that. Absolutely. But there's a, a real strong customer base for a long time. Absolutely. And actually, when we get to the point where we send our kids off, we're usually dealing with parents at that point. Right. So. And grandparents. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Great information. We appreciate it.